All right, last section for Unit 5, interest and mixture problems. So a strategy with these is to let X be your first one and Y be your second one. And remember, you are looking for two equations. So we're going to let this guy be X and this guy be Y. So our two equations are probably going to deal with the no one equation dealing with the number of gallons. And one equation dealing with the concentration. Which is the percentage times the number of gallons. So a dairy needs a total of 244 gallons. So there's one, this is gallons and gallons. So there's one uh, equation right there. X plus Y has to be add up to 244. Well, the concentration of the X is 9%. So that's going to be 0 0.09 times X. And this guy's going to be 0 0.01 times Y is his concentration. So we want that 244 gallons to have 77, I'm sorry, 7% butterfat. So our uh, 0.09x plus 0.01y has to equal 0.07 times our total gallons. So there's our two equations. So 0.07 times 244 is 17.08. Okay, so I'm going to use substitution because it's uh, super easy to just subtract y from both sides and say that x is 244 minus y. So now I'm going to substitute that in. 0.09 times 244 minus y plus 0.01y equals 17.08. Do the distribution. 0 0.09 times 244 is 21.96 minus 0.09y plus 0.01y equals 17.08. And because I'm running out of space, I'm going to subtract 21.96 from both sides and combine these like terms in the same step. So 0 0.09, negative 0 0.09 plus 0 0.01 gives me negative 0 0.08. And 17.08 minus 21.96 gives me negative 4.88. And now I just divide both sides by negative 0.08. And I get 61. So if y is 61, x plus y is 244. So x is 244 minus 61. So 183 and 61 are my answers. Hopefully I got that right. Okay, that was a mixture problem. Now we've got uh, an interest problem here. So let me go to my no. Okay, so I've got, these are my X dollars. These are my Y dollars. So the interest I'm gonna earn on X is gonna be 0 0.07 times X, and the interest on Y is 0.15 Y. Total of 5,000, so X plus Y has to add to 5,000. Part at 7, part at 15, how much is invested at each rate if the total annual interest is 480? So the 0 0.07 times the amount, the interest rate times the amount uh, at 7% plus the 15% times the amount is going to add up to 480. So there's my second equation. So if I use substitution here, x is 5,000 minus y. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, 0 0.07. Instead of x, I'm going to write 5,000 
minus y plus 0.15y equals 480. Distribute. Minus 0.07y plus 0.15y equals 480. Combine my like terms, and that gives me 0.08y. Let's make and subtract 350 from both sides. 480 minus 350 is 130. Divide both sides by 0.08. 1625. So that's my y, so that goes down here. All right, and then my x is 5,000 minus y, so 5,000 minus 1625. Three three seven five sixteen twenty five three three seven five sixteen twenty five. Good. All right. Now we're doing another investment problem. If I can make my screenwriter work. All right. So half of her investments. So that means one investment equals the other in dollars amounts, right? So, you know, if, if X is $10, so is Y. If half of them are in 12% and the other half is in 13%. Okay. And the total interest is 690. So, the interest from X plus the interest from Y equals 690. So 0.25X equals 690. Divide both sides by 0.25. 2760. So 2760 in each, and then double that in but total 5520. Okay. So 2760, 5520. 2760. All right, this is a mixture problem. Uh, hopefully, we have plenty of time for this, and this might be the last problem we have time for. So again, I'm going to let this guy be x. So his concentration is 0.45 times x. This guy will be y. So his concentration is 0.2y. And he wants to make a total of 200, 2,000 pounds, right? So there's one equation, x plus y equals 2,000, which can be rewritten as x equals 2,000 minus y. <clears throat> and it, they're going to, when they come together, they're going to equal 35% concentration of that 2,000 pounds, which is 700. So that's the other equation, 0.45x plus 0.2y equals 700. So I'm going to substitute in 2,000 minus y for x. Distribute. Minus 2,000. 900. Minus 900 from both sides. Combine my like terms. And divide both sides by point, negative 0.25. Minus 1625. So y, which I, since I 
put this Y here, I know which, which of these blanks is my Y goes there, and X is 2000 minus Y. Twelve hundred and eight hundred. All right, might have time for one more. That's a percentage one again. Let's try to find <clears throat> this one. Looks like it might be kind of confusing, but let's do it. All right, so ten thousand four hundred is invested, part at seven, and the rest at four. So First, select a letter to represent each variable. So I'm just going to let the first one be X and the second one be Y. So X plus Y equals 10,400. That's my first equation. The X goes with the 7%, so that's 0.07X. The Y goes with the 4%, so that's 0.04Y equals... Okay, so the interest earned from the 7% is going to exceed the other one. So that's, I'm not going to add them together. I'm going to subtract the other one by their difference, 422. So pay attention to that. So my substitution tells me that X equals 10,400 minus Y. And so I'm going to substitute that in. Distribute. Times 10,400. 7,28. Combine my like terms. That should be negative 0.11y. Let me confirm that. Mm -hmm. Let's take away 728 from both sides. And divide by neg both sides by negative 0.11. All right, 2781 point, and then I'm going to round to the nearest penny, so that'll be 82. And that's my Y, so that's this second guy down here. And my X is 10,400 minus that. So 10, 400 minus 2781, 0 0.82, 7618, 18. All right, I do have to write this down so that I don't forget it when I'm typing it in. So I've got 7618, 7618.18. And two seven eight one point eight two, and I did x and y. Okie dokie. Hopefully, I did that right. I did not take time because I'm running out of time. Seven six one eight point one eight, and this guy is two seven eight one. Let's check that. Uh oh. Not in the proper form. Okay, so maybe we need dollar signs here. No. First select a letter, then enter the equations in terms of those variables in the boxes. Oh my goodness, they didn't even want the answer. So one equation was X plus Y equals 10,400. And the other equation was 0 0.7. I'm sorry, 0, 07 x minus 0 0.04 y. 
y equals 4.